Welcome back to the second section of the ILFL Soccer Night Show. Now, we've spent the whole first segment talking about uh, the ILFL and Shanali Otith Veterans Cup. Here's the semi-final footage for you here, live, NTV Europe, ILFL Soccer Night Show. Run the VT.
Mandela. On my left, we have Rashid Ali, Beaumont Masters, a cup finalist once again, only been beaten once in this summer league season. On my right, Chairman Cameron Zaman, playing for London Tigers, unbeaten, undefeated so far in this summer league season. They go into a cup final to meet once again uh, for the second time. Tigers smelling blood are looking for revenge. Beaumont seemingly very confident, Rush? We're confident because we know it can be done. Uh, last season when we won against the Tigers, they had a full squad, whereas we had a very, very weak. I played myself and a few other played. Uh, tactically, we got it right. We used our brains uh, and we, everything worked according to plan. This time around, I'm hoping that it's going to be different. We have a full squad. We go attacking and we go hunting and get the Tigers down. Yourself, cameras. Um, it's, a, it's a final, David. So, you know, uh, reputation of what happened last game and last year doesn't count for anything. It's on the day who wants it. And like Rashid said, you know, they were the underdogs last year, but they wanted it more on the day and they defended better as a unit. And, you know, when it goes to penalties, it's anyone's game. But I think, you know, if you look at the form and if the form is anything to go by, the Tigers are flying high. They're very, very strong. They score in every game. Um, other than that Stepney game, that was a nil-nil draw. Uh, we won every single game and we won convincingly as well. So I think what, what you know, what Beaumont winning last year and us with our current form is it makes it for a very exciting final. Okay? And I think, you know, uh, there's been other finals before where it's been four, five nil score lines. I don't think it's going to be like that. It's going to be very close, very tight. Um, and hopefully with uh, Beaumont's players back, it will be open play. You know, it will be whoever capitalizes on the mistakes or the opportunities really. So it will be, be a good game to watch. It's a good final. As we said, it's coming up towards the end of the summer league season. Uh, summer's run out in the sky. Um, it continues uh, on a Thursday night in the Vets League. We'll confirm the date of that final for you as it gets nearer the time. Good luck to both teams in that final where it comes. Like I said, the league game that they have next week uh, doesn't matter. It's not a precursor for anything that's going to come up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe so. Uh, maybe so. Uh, we'll come back to this uh, at, at a later stage in the season. Uh, but now, uh, what I want to do, do for you is I want to introduce you uh, to somebody and maybe introduce you to something that's always welcome in the ILFL uh, league itself. Uh, we have a number of projects that run throughout the year, um, run by a, a number of volunteers as well. Uh, we can't do it without them. And obviously, we can't do it without the sponsors themselves. So now it gives me an opportunity to turn to my right uh, and introduce a representative of one of our new sponsors, uh, Ibrahim Tors. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, like I said, it's great to always have uh, new people on board um, and have a fresh sponsorship uh, within uh, the ILFL. Cameras, if I can just uh, bypass uh, our guest there and just go to you and, and talk about uh, the need to always look always attract new sponsors and what they can expect as they come into the ILFL? Uh, absolutely. I mean, an immense amount of voluntary work goes into running um, the league, the projects that, that you see in front of us here, but also the clubs itself as well. And we need people like Ibrahim Tours to get on board and help not only just the league, but also uh, the youngsters that participate in the league through the clubs. You see, the ethos of, of ILFL is to get sponsorships, but also give some of it back to the community. Um, a lot of these cups are, are free entry, like our League Cup and, uh, and our Challenge Cup. Most leagues will charge you know, easily 50, 60 pounds per team entry fee. So yeah. whatever we get from sponsorships, we give back in return to the, to the participants. Um, and Ibrahim Tours is a, is a, is a, is a unique um, business in itself. In that it's, it's, a, it's a religious uh, business, but they want to get involved with the community and give back something to the youngsters. So uh, Shazan Khan is here representing Ibrahim Tours. So Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about uh, Ibrahim Tours itself. Yeah, Ibrahim Tours, we um, basically we've been established for the last nearly five years. And uh, every year we take people to Hajj and Umrah. And this year we are sponsoring um, IFL and we do various other um, sponsorship within the communities. And uh, you know we want to give something to the community because we're based in Thai Hamlets. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, every year and we want to sponsor more so uh it's a great thing that you're doing and um like camera said it's it's great to have 
uh, a partnership with an organisation like yourselves who are not only within the community but doing something and giving something back to the community. So uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm sure uh, we'll see you at our awards ceremony as well this Thursday. That means yeah. as a sponsor, you get yourself a table uh, yeah, to invite hopefully. everybody along. Oh, no, of course you will be there. Not hopefully, you, you, you will be there. And um, we're going to talk more to you about that awards ceremony that's taking place this Thursday. You know where it's going to be, the Royal Regency down there in East London happening this Thursday for all of you teams, all of you invited participants, guests, players, everybody involved with the ILFL, you are invited. There's a space for you, a place for you to come and take part, celebrate, um, look at the achievements and record the history that's going to be made there uh, that evening. There's a lot going on apart from just giving out the awards. We're going to talk about that and a little bit more about the upcoming Winter League as well in the third section of the show. So stick around. We'll be right back after this short break.